Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another cooking video. I didn't intend doing a cooking video today. Uh, today's Monday. I've had a day off just to sort of recover and sort things out after I've been away all weekend at a steam run. I went for a walk this afternoon with Debs and we found a massive amount of blackberries out. So we picked a lot of blackberries and what I'm going to do is make a blackberry crumble. I've done these before but I did cheat and I bought the crumble mix. I'm going to use a new recipe and use butter and make my own crumble mix. Anyway, enough of the talking, let's get on and get this blackberry crumble cooked. I need you one. Not in the water. These are the blackberries we picked today. Uh, they've been soaking for the last four hours in a solution of very mild salty water. All the salty water does is kill any horrible little nasties and flush the little bastards out. Uh, so you're left with nice clean fruit. So what I'm going to do now is wash them under clean water. I did get quite a, quite a lot, we're only on half an hour. You can see any obviously nasty ones, pick them out, but we were quite selective when we were picking them, and most of them are really nice. See the odd one with a little, the odd scabby one, just take them out. It's basically they're all nice and clean. Right, the ingredients for the crumble are very simple. You need 100 grams of plain flour, 100. You need 100 grams of sugar. I'm going to use half brown sugar and half white sugar. 149. Right, that's 200. Into that you need 100 grams of butter. You could use margarine, but I think butter's... I think it makes a better job. That's pretty good. I've actually marked off in there the grams. So 50, 50, 50, 50. So we want that much butter. And that's a piece of ingredients. This is all blended together. And you can use your hands, but many hands obviously have been steamrolling all weekend. So I'm going to use a mechanical device to blend it together. Since I fitted the inverter out of this machine, I can get some nice slow speeds, which is ideal for mixing ingredients for cooking. Also, with having the big riser block fitted, I can get quite a big mixing bowl in. Simply goes into there and we'll bring the quill down and lock the quill off just as touch nicely touches the bottom of the bowl, a little bit of clearance, and we'll turn it away nice and slowly. And that's going to do a splendid job of mixing that up for us. I'll get a close up and you can see how it's Doing quite a nice job of mixing this up. I might try a little bit more speed on it. That's the beauty with the inverter, you can get in whatever speed you think you need. It's certainly having a desired effect. And you mix this up until basically it forms a, forms a crumbly mix, like coarse sand. 
shouldn't take too long. I put loads on just so I can demonstrate the sort of consistency you want. It's a nice dry crumbly mix and if you squeeze it in your hand it forms a shape and then breaks. It's very very similar to the sort of consistency you want good grade coarse sand for casting. I have used coarse sand for casting where you use sand and you use molasses as a bonding agent and that works quite well and that's the sort of consistency you mix that to. Right, so that's basically the crumble mix made. You could put various flavourings in the egg, you could put cinnamon in. Some people put a little bit of porridge oats in. I'm just going to do it, leave it the way it is. Right, assembling the pudding couldn't be simpler. So you put some blackberries in, looking for any nasty ones. Or any bits of creepy crawly that we didn't get out in the wash. You don't want to fill the dish up because it will expand as it cooks. Right, so that's probably two thirds full. I'll take a few out. I'll sprinkle a little bit of sugar on them. Then the crumb will mix goes in. And that's leveled off. You could use a, a steel ruler or something, but right, that's basically it. In a room at about 180, and it'll take roughly half an hour for that to cook. Normally, when I make puddings, this is the custard I use ready made and brews that have custard. Real nice stuff. Today I'm going to go back old school and I'm going to make custard using Bird's custard powder. Bird's custard powder has been around since I was a child so it's been around for quite some time. Anyway, this is what we're going to use. Very simple to use, easy to make. Mixing bowl, two spoonfuls of custard powder. The more custard powder in, the more custard powder you put in, the thicker it becomes. Teaspoonful of sugar. We open a pint of milk and you want a couple of teaspoonfuls of milk out of the open pint. Right, this is mixed up to form a, a nice thick paste. Then you need a little bit more a little bit more milk. That's better. Right, so that's mixed together. It forms a nice, a nice smooth paste. It's got that smell that only, only bird's custard seems to have. Make sure you get it all mixed in. Right, the crumble is just about done. Now we put the rest of the pint of milk into a saucepan. I think we could be needing a bigger saucepan than that one. Bonny lad. Right, the saucepan is actually the right size. <laughs> What's the bottle of milk contain two pints, not one? Right, so we'll put that into a, into a gas to warm up. Right, the milk's near warm, you mustn't let it boil but it must be just before the point of boiling and all you do is add the custard mix, stirring all the time, slowly put it in, keep stirring. You see how it's thickening up, the magic's starting to happen. Continue stirring because you want nice smooth custard, you don't want any nasty lumps in it. This is looking good. Right, that's definitely cooked. Some of the 
but well done in for your tea. Yummy, this looks nice. And I already said you can of course put ice cream on with this, you can put any on it. Ice cream or fresh cream. But I think freshly made birds custard's gonna be perfect. Cause that's really thick just the way I like it. Once again, it just means to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and bon appetit, bon la. It's just absolutely wonderful. So this afternoon I went for a walk with Deb and we found a massive amount of blackberries out. Bollocks! Idiots. You're not going to have more PPI. I've already blown it all. Anyway. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. <laughs> I get up there, which maybe getting back in could be a problem.